This now makes five members of the Shays Board of Trustees that have resigned in the past week or so. Shays General Manager Bill Patty has also been fired. I spoke with him this afternoon, and while he would not elaborate on that firing, he did provide a statement to us that reads, quote, I feel that I have been targeted, retaliated against, discriminated against, and I have retained attorney Lindy Korn as counsel. La Buffalo News has extensively and first reported on how Shays President Michael Murphy has been accused by several staff members of creating a, quote, toxic work environment. Now, last Thursday, Shays announced it would be reorganizing and that Murphy had accepted a new set of responsibilities for the next six months while with someone else running day to day operations. Well, the five now former trustees have all been removed from the Shays website, including Sujatha Yalamanchili. Uh, I also spoke with her today and asked why she decided to resign. Thank you for the question. You know, there's been some public reporting and there have been some public statements from the board and from others. So I'll let those sort of speak for themselves. At this point, I'm not prepared to comment further on, on any of the things that you just asked. So much of this remains pretty cryptic right now. This story was recently picked up by a theater industry newsletter, the Broadway Briefing, so it is receiving some national attention. While well, neither Shays nor the current Board of Trustees chairperson have returned my calls, but we will continue to reach out to them. In the Information Center, Rob Hackford, Channel 2 News.